Hi, it's Disney Girl back to crack another Fantastic Beast case from the Wizarding World. So let's log in. Caution, this plan may backfire. You can upgrade to gain new and stronger abilities. Okay, so this is new. You can spend the coins you earn from searching scenes here. Okay, let's continue. To start off, here's a thousand coins to gain your first ability. Sweet! Thanks for the free coins. Select here to purchase the multiplier max up skill. So that's going to cost a thousand coins. Yes, I'm sure I would like to buy this. You've upgraded your skills. Keep searching scenes to level up and unlock new abilities. Yay! New daily bonus. A brand new daily bonus has started. Play every day to earn the best rewards. If you play for 25 days, you'll receive all of the rewards. Sweet, free stuff. Who doesn't like that? Ooh, yay. Okay, so here I guess is our daily bonus calendar. And today we've got 10 energy. Well, thank you very much. Now we've got 120 energy to start off with. The starter's pack, there's five days left. So, Magizoologist, starter pack. Time remaining, five days. So, in this, we can get 250 gems, 5,000 coins, and 120 energy, along with some sort of potion bottle. Um, so, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we're into our second case here, and... This case is called The Smell of Fear. And last time, we were finishing up putting together two items. So here we go. Mathilda. Sage, we're truly stumped. Do you have any idea what smashed this poor teapot? Not exactly, but I can tell you that this was quite a sturdy teapot. Whatever smashed it must have been large and powerful. So I'm giving the character some... Um, English accents today. Large, powerful, and lacking manners, clearly. Thanks, Sage. New identifier found. Large and powerful. Add to kiss files. Yes, please. Sweet. Complete. Speak to Sage about the feather. Let's do it. Mathilda. Sage. What can you tell us about that feather? Please tell me it's from a phoenix, please. I wish I could, but that feather's not from a magical beast. It's from a golden eagle. They nest on mountains all year round. So Shacklehorn must have been camping in a mountainous area. Hmm. That's new intel. Hey, that must be where your wee beastie came from. <laughs> yep. So I don't think it's we. Strange. Something snuck into this tent, then burst out when Shacklehorn stopped at the leaky cauldron. And why is this sneakerscope still lit up? Maybe it's broken. Ha <laughs> ha! It gone! I've been hiding in here for hours. Where am I? Where did you... You're in a tent inside the leaky cauldron. Why didn't you just magic yourself out? For starters, there's no such thing as magic. And this tent is enormous. Oh, my head. No such thing as magic. Lola, I think that was a muggle. New identifier found. Lives in mountains. Good to know. Okay, so now in order to start Act 2, we need two silver stars. And the only way we can get that is by searching scenes. So let's start off with the leaky cauldron. So we're going to use 20 energy in order to search it. And we're going to use Omar. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. Boom. 
Butterbeer. Jam. Uh, teapot? Daily Prophet? Where are these things? Okay, we're getting better. Two more left. Uh, the goblet? There it is. And now just an urn. Which I couldn't find, so I need to use Omar's help. Awesome. Let's find out what our scene score is here. 440,000. Okay, not too bad. Not my high score, but uh, we'll just have to try again. Let's see if I'm any faster this time. Roast potatoes. Oh dear. The pie. Yummy butter beer. Yummy keys. Not so yummy. <laughs> Okay, I have no idea where the slippers or spell are. Um, I don't know. Help! On the wall? Seriously, who puts slippers on a wall? 480,000 that time, so... Still not my high score. I guess we'll have to try again. Let's do this. Come on, I gotta be faster this time. Where is the quill? I actually have no idea where it is. Help, please. Oh, over by the tent. Somehow now it seems like it should have been obvious, but I love how it's never obvious at the time. Well, at least I've got a score now, a high score of 590,000. So let's do it again. Let's see if we can top that. Possibia. Always got to start off with butter beer, right? Obviously. It's bound to be delicious. Who has ever tried butterbeer? Let me know in the comments below. Okay. Toast? Okay, there. It's on the table. Exploding snaps on the floor. Why would you leave exploding snaps on the floor? Seems dangerous. Well, I was close that time to beating my score. 580. I find it's getting a little bit harder every time. Uh, I think the one thing in this one that's going to be tricky is the envelope. Because um, I don't know where that is. That's new. Yeah, I have no idea where it is. Okay, I'm going to have to find some of the other things. Jeez, now there's more items. Bowl of blue powder and the envelope. Uh, okay. It's just the envelope, I don't know. Oh, okay. So I had to ask for help to find it. Jeez, I was hoping to master this scene already. Guess it's not so easy. The first case, I thought I found things were a little bit easier, but I guess every time it's going to get harder for me. Question is, can you find them as fast as I can? I'm a race against all of my followers. Time yourself. See if you can beat me. I'm just so fast. At least I was this time. 15 seconds to... 
to uh, complete that one. Sweet! Yeah! 650,000! Yay! And guess what? A new bonus scene has been unlocked. And I've got my two silver stars now, so I can start Act 2. So I guess there's another act here. So it wasn't just a beast that got stuck in that tent. A muggle was trapped in there too. It's a wonder she wasn't hurt given what the beast did to the leaky cauldron. Shacklehorn clearly failed to protect his tent with muggle repelling charms. That's a breach of the International Statue of Secrecy. Shame on him. We have to find out what the muggle saw, and we'd better deal with Shacklehorn too. I wonder if he's feeling any better yet. Well, if he is, he's not going to be feeling good after Mathilda's done with him. Case 2, The Smell of Fear. Question the muggle in the tent. So that's going to... Well, that's going to be another silver star. So we have got to check out Shacklehorn's tent bonus, which is the newest scene here. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to give it a go. So for now, we can see that the beast is large and powerful and it lives in the mountains. So we've actually got six clues and only two identifiers. So this case is far from being solved. So let's go ahead and do Shacklehorn's tent bonus. So it's going to be 20 energy. Let's use Cerebrus. Okay, this time we've got 30 seconds to find things. This is new. This is challenging. Oh gosh, no pressure. The Nimbus, sleeping bag, grapes. Okay, uh, an hourglass. We, we know where that is. Toasted marshmallows, though. I don't know. A rope? On the table. I don't know where the marshmallows were. Oh, goodness. Carrots, a star cushion, and a rolled carpet. No, found all those. Teddy bear, cauldron, and snowshoes. Where are the snowshoes? Oh, there they are. And the teddy bear. Saucepan, basket, and stack of parchment. Uh... Dunno, and my time is up. Okay, so not too bad for my first time doing this. Again, that was really intense. I think that was more stressful than the other ones because it's a countdown. So you're like, can I find everything? Okay, let's try it again. Try and relax here. All right, glass bottle, compass, and plastic bottle. Um, all right, got all three of those. Spear, blue feather, and a chisel. Chessboard, teapot, and quibbler on the table. Or broken table, whatever that is. Um... Where's the mouse? I don't see the mouse. Okay, star cushion, rope, and potion. But my time is up. So what did I get this time? 345,000, so that is a new high score for that. All right. And I've got a star now, which is exciting. Still ways away, though, to being in third place, let alone first. So we're going to question the muggle in the tent now. Hello, feeling any better yet? Do you remember what happened? Is she talking to me? Nope. My head really hurts. Last I remember, I was in the Australian Alps. Chasing down a yeti sighting. I'm a professional monster hunter, you see. Laura Thorne, author of Hoax and Dreams. Perhaps you've read it. <laughs> Doubt it. 
I found tracks leading into a tent. Next thing I know, something's tearing the place apart. I had to hide in a grandfather clock. Right, Laura, you rest a moment. Our doctor is coming to check you over. Who keeps a grandfather clock in a tent? Huh. <laughs> That explains why the sneaker scope went off. Her aim is to reveal the creatures we're trying to protect. Good point, Lola. She mentioned the Alps. That must be where Shacklehorn was camping. Fancy a trip to the mountains? New location unlocked. All right. Let's find out what that is. The mountains. Oh, have Omar look after the monster hunter. So that's going to take 30 minutes. So we can get that started for sure. All right. And then we can search the mountains for, or mountainside for clues. So let's go ahead and do that. So 20 energy. And here we go. We're using Mathelda this time. Smells like trouble! This looks like the place the monster hunter described, Lola. Let's see if there are any traces of the beast that snuck into that tent. Alright, let's do it. Three, two, one, go! Find seven objects. Broken glass. I have no idea. An apple? A mushroom? A chair. A rucksack. Aha! It's a new clue. How exciting! I just don't know where the broken glass is. I thought it was something, but it wasn't. Hey, I did click that at the start. Jeez. All right. Well, I apparently didn't click on it properly. So I did find it just, yeah, didn't register. So that wasn't very good. My total score was 280,000. So yeah. Any luck, Lola? Interesting. A rucksack with a serious lock on it. Property of our muggle monster hunter, perhaps. Try cracking it open. All right, some broken glass too. That's an odd thing to find out here. Let's repair it and see what it was. Open the padlock rucksack and repair the broken glass. So we need two stars for that to happen. So let's go ahead and search the mountainside again with Mathilda. Three, two, one, go! So, seven objects again. Let's see if I can find them faster this time. Why is there a candy cane? I think it's more suspicious there's a candy cane out by the mountainside. Um, like, broken glass? Well, the tent was there. It's possible, right? But a candy cane? I think that'd be more suspicious. Who just keeps candy canes lying around? I didn't think that was a very magical thing to do. Woohoo! 310,000! That is a new high score there. Alright, let's search it again here. Three, two, one, go! Well, this is getting much easier. Scarf and apple. Yeah, did it under 10 seconds. Eight seconds to be exact. I'm quite proud of myself. This must be a new high score now for sure. 530,000. That is awesome. I did so well on that. Okay, so now I can open the padlock here on this rucksack. So let's go ahead and give that a whirl. 
All right, trace the spell. Alohomora. Move the circle around until the image at the bottom matches the image in the center. Okay. Um, so, at the bottom I have to match it up? Or at the top? Because... All right. Oh, look. That matches up. Why didn't it work? Um, I'm confused. Uh. All right, let's try the bottom one. I didn't really read the instructions properly, or I did. Well, I did read them, but I wasn't listening. Rewarded energy, only two on that, so. Oh well. You cracked it, Lola. And this is definitely Laura Thorne's bag. Climbing gear, muggle books about famous monsters. Ha! This one claims that fairies can talk. That'll be the day. What's that? Camera lenses? Good find. But where's the camera itself? Perhaps she left it in the tent. New location unlocked. Uh-oh. So the muggle had a camera. If it got a picture of the beast, that's not good. So we need to search the tent for clues when I've got enough energy. So that will have to wait until my next episode. Yeah, I guess so, because I don't have enough energy. So that looks like what I can do for the case right now. So thanks for watching another Disney Girls Fantastic Beast Cases from the Wizarding World. Cases number two, The Smell of Fear. So this is the second episode I've done so far. So hopefully my third one will be able to get a little bit closer to identifying the beast. So make sure to stay tuned and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.